Hello, good and faithful people of the Church of the Mediator. Happy New Year 2023 and Merry 12th day of Christmas, this last day of Christmas tide. In your circle of people, in your network of those you love and you care about, of those you work with or those you encounter living with or uh, those you are in contact with every so often or maybe even those you're only in contact with once in a while, who needs an extra bit of care, of connection in this time? I will return to that in a minute, but I remind you that tomorrow, Friday, January 6th, at noon, we will celebrate the Holy Eucharist in the Chapel of St. Mary the Virgin in person, as well as live streamed on our YouTube channel. That is the feast of the epiphany of our Lord, the manifestation of our Lord to the Gentiles. That's the church's yearly commemoration of the arrival of the wise people from the East who saw and discerned in the star that the Christ child, the Messiah, had been born and came seeking to offer their gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh, and to offer themselves and their adoration of the one who is Emmanuel, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. So come join us at noon tomorrow. And of course, on Sunday, which will be the first Sunday after the Epiphany, we celebrate the baptism of our Lord. We will sprinkle with uh, holy water on Sunday during our remembrance of our baptismal vows and our remembrance of our own baptism, that sacrament by which God has brought us from death into life and has promised us God's indissoluble bond with us. Of course, uh, on the Epiphany tomorrow, we will bless some chalk. And if you'd like to take some chalk home, either tomorrow or Sunday, to mark on your door and to bless your home, that will be available to you as well. So returning to my question, who in your circle, in your network, needs an extra bit of care, of connection in this time? The holidays can be hard, of course, for people, but I also feel that oftentimes the days after the holidays are really hard too. When, when all of the Christmas decorations have come down and all of the events and the joy and the lights and the celebration has ended and we're all into the new year and we've started to think about what we want to set ourselves out to do in the new year, those New Year's resolutions that usually only last about a week or two or four. That is often a time when people are particularly vulnerable, this, this time of the year. And so I invite you to take stock of those around you, really do. And sometimes it's people you wouldn't expect. I, I was just reading in the New York Times the other day a piece talking about how uh, happiness in life is so often linked with people's sense of fertile and engaged relationships with one another. Who needs connection right now in your circle? Who needs a word of encouragement? Who needs a word of life and goodness? Who is that person? Who needs you maybe to show up with a casserole or cookies? Remember, you baked all those cookies back in Christmas tide or during Advent, but maybe somebody needs you to show up for them right now. And I'm certain those people are around. So take stock of your people. Take stock of your people, my friends, and reach out, maybe show up, be present, bring yourselves your love because you represent Christ and the church and you represent your beautiful selves. Bring it, give connection, give care to people around you in this vulnerable post-holiday New Year time. I will see you on Sunday. Until then, blessings.